business and, and you know, around. So the idea here is, is you should need to be reading Forbes. You need to be reading Fortune. You need to be on a couple blogs. You gotta have, I use Flipboard. Any of you in here use Flipboard? A okay, great tool. I have feeds from every, from BBC, from AP, from Fortune Slate, I mean, all of them. I, I read it every morning at breakfast and I get amazing information. Just keep me up to speed to know what's going on in China and India, what's happening in my industry, what's going on globally. Number two is, and look at how big this word is, you need to be an expert on your product. And when I say expert, I mean expert. You gotta know it inside and out. You gotta know it backwards and forwards. If it's a lumpy object you sell, you should be able to take it apart and put it back together, almost. I mean, that, that level of expertise. You are not going to position yourself as a value adder. You are not going to position yourself as an, a trusted advisor if you don't really, really understand your product well. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be 100%. 5% of the time, you're allowed to go, I don't know, let me go back, talk to one of the engineers, let me talk to some folks in my office. That's one thing I don't know. But if that's the answer to 30% of the questions, you're an idiot, right? I don't trust you, you don't have any confidence. So that's at that level. The next level is an expert on your competition. You should know your competition's products and services as well as they do. What do they do? How do they, how do they differentiate themselves? How do they sell against you? How, what do they tell their customers? What's the new products they're coming out with? What's everything you can learn about your, your top competitors so that you know them almost as well as their salespeople do? Once you've got those, then you get to the top level where you become an expert on your customer, where you deeply care about them, you ask them questions, you wanna know everything you can, and here's the deal. On the bottom two levels, low or no value. Who cares? Everybody does that. It's table stakes. Oh, I know everything about my product in my industry. whoop de doo You know, I would expect that. If I'm going to give you a meeting, you should know that. The next level, now you get the medium, right? I know my product really well, and I can give you a really good apples to apples comparison and tell you about the features and the benefits and the price and the cost, and I can have a really in-depth conversation about exactly how our product stacks up. At the top level is when you become a trusted advisor. Now you're talking about proactive solutions. You're bringing them ideas they didn't know about. You're able to help them make a good decision. Ready for this? Even if it, is, if it, even if it isn't your product. At this level, you might recommend a competitor's product. Ours isn't right for you. It doesn't have the right features. It doesn't have the right benefits. You're not going to be happy. Because the key is you got to sell the exact right solution. If you don't sell the exact, if you sell something too low and then love the price, it's called bankruptcy, and <laughs> you don't get to go back because you don't have a job. You sell it too high and they find out, you never do business with them again. Uh, you sell it at exactly the right price, deliver it late, deliver the wrong product, do something like that, you don't get any more business. It has to be the right price, the right value, good for you, good for them, win-win, because then you're partners. You're not a salesperson, you're a partner, you're a peer, you're a trusted advisor. You're someone that they go to and ask for help for the growth of their business. Whole different level, very few salespeople get there because they're not willing to do the bottom parts. They're not truly willing to do the research, the homework, the reading, the study. All right, we talked.